Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, session of Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. And today we're playing with the Elastic Band mode again. Uh, so if, you, if you're new or you haven't seen any of these uh, particular videos before, what that means is that the hunters, who are the people who are out there trying to stop me getting all of the checkpoints, they get a big circle drawn on their, uh, on their maps, which I don't get to see, but you probably will in the Hunter videos if everything has gone to plan. And that big circle tells them roughly where I am, because I will always be somewhere inside it. And that circle is sort of attached to me with an elastic band. So as I drive around like an absolute lunatic as I am at the moment, it will be dragged around with me. Um, and then if I change direction like this... Is that someone shooting? Um, as I change direction like this, it'll sort of overshoot a bit because it's got some momentum. It'll hurtle past and then it'll fly back in the beyond me and then ca and carry on and, and, um, and so on. So, so it gives them a rough idea of where I am. And if I slow down enough, it gives them a slightly more precise idea of where I am. But never a really, but never a really precise one. At least that's the plan. Is that a real mic car or a pretend mic or a dead mic car? I'm not sure. I'm going to run away from here though, because if there's a, because it might be the real one. So the plan is, from my point of view, I have to try and get through all of the checkpoints. And at the moment, I'm blasting around the city in this Infernus, which is a ludicrously fast supercar. Um, oh, there's Tristan. Uh, okay, so I was going to say, I'm blasting around the city in this Infernus, which is a ludicrously fast supercar, and that means I'm not actually going to be able to take any of the checkpoints, because the rules of the game won't let me take checkpoints if I'm in a sports car or a supercar. Um, so I do need to change this at some point before I can take any. Um, fortunately for me, escaping from Tristan is quite easy, because I have a supercar. Even the speed of the, the Windsor that I talk about every so often. Um, it's nothing compared to the uh, the speed of something like an Infernus. So this is going to allow me to get back over there towards the um, the checkpoint. At which point I need to then change into a more sensible car before I try and squeeze through it. So I'm going to head back over this way at a rate of knots. Um, so we, we have we've discussed this sort of thing a couple of times in the past, and we've established that it is perfectly acceptable. For the prey to use a sports or supercar. Oh, I don't want that. Um, as long as they don't take any checkpoints in them, and as I say, I can't take a checkpoint in them. So it's yeah, there's no, there's no, um, there's no risk of me accidentally cheating and going through a checkpoint and, and taking one in it. There've been a, there's been the odd occasion actually oh where God. I've um, tried to take a checkpoint in something that I haven't realised is a, a sports car. Specifically, it was a um, oh, what was it? The um, a Futo. It turns out a Futo is actually a sports car, and so. Yeah, the game just wouldn't let me take it in that because that's the, <laughs> that would be breaking the rules. And the game is a stick. The game is, of course, a stickler for the rules. So I now have an acceptable vehicle. I can red, jump, run red lights and hope they don't spot me. I can head towards the uh, checkpoint and try and take it without them, hopefully, without them noticing me. And they get quite a lot of extra warning than me. They get an extra 30 seconds warning over what I get um, about where the checkpoint locations are. So I don't really need to wait and hang around. Um, I can just go and take checkpoints as soon as, I, as soon as I know about them. Because, well, if they can't get to a checkpoint in 30 seconds... You see Tristan's caught up with me again, even though I was blazing away from him in that for Infernus earlier. Um, so despite, so yeah, he's still managed to get over here and, and uh, get back to it before I've managed to take it. So there's, it's it's perfectly acceptable for me to use a, a supercar to fly around the city like an absolute lunatic, um, because they're probably going to be able to get to the checkpoints before me anyway, because they're going to know about them sooner. And if they don't, if if I beat them to a checkpoint, then that's kind of their own fault because they've obviously been snoozing on the job. Um, or they've been out trying to find me in, out in the city rather than playing properly. There's too many hunters around, I'm getting out of here. Now my worry at this point is that I don't have a particularly great car here. Um, I changed out of the Infernus for, you know, balance reasons and stuff. Um, so I don't have the raw speed I did before with that car. And that means their cars are probably all faster than mine. So on these big, wide, open roads, I'm going to struggle to... 
flip my car over end to end? Really? Honestly, let's try and... Oh dear. Um, okay, so Mike got out of his car there, which is probably... It's a good thing... Well, it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because it means he's going to start trying to shoot at me. Because you know, uh, he, he, he wants to try and kill me because he, he, he's just like that. With, what, can, what can you do? Um, but also, because he got out of his car, that means that he's got slowed down quite a lot. There he goes. Um, so he then has to, has to try and catch up again before he can join in the chase. Uh, oh, my indoor brake maneuver did not go as planned there. Whoa! We also have an additional player in the game today, um, in this particular run. Um, who's apparently driving a silver car. Um, sure, I think we're fine. Now I need... Oh, I'm I was going to say I'm surprised they've not shot at enemy... Oh, ha! Mike shot Tristan. Ah, that's perfect. Mike has shot Tristan and therefore been summarily executed in revenge, which is, I believe happens automatically. It's to, it's to discourage the hunters from being quite so... just blasting and, and not worrying about where they're shooting. So if they shoot a fellow hunter, then they get automatically killed themselves. However, that's taken out two of the hunters, and therefore it's going to make it a bit easier for me to get away. Now, I want to find a quiet road to change my car. Oh no, Pete's still behind me. Okay, I can't find a quiet road and change my car yet. Oh, that's a big slide. I'm trouble, trouble. Oh no, I managed to flip round, that's okay. And there's Paul in a Windsor. So that's that's good, because that Windsor is probably going to block the road, because it's a massive brick of a car. So <laughs> that gives me a little bit of an opportunity to try and get away. Um, there's not very... just realised how little of this car is left after that rollover. Um, I think... I've possibly lost them? Try and go through here. Nope, there's a tree in the way there. I nearly, nearly made it through that gap, but I couldn't quite get the car to do what I wanted it to do. Oh no, Tristan's back with a brand new life, I suppose, and he's back behind me again. And there's Paul as well. So there's two Windsors following me now. There goes another body panel for the car. Let's, let's drop off the edge here and see what happens. That was a nice landing. I'm happy with that. And now we've got Pete behind me again. So there's a lot of variety in the in the uh, the Skittles bag that's chasing me, which is, um, I suppose, keeps things interesting. I, yeah, I'm not going to complain too much. I suppose it's um, oh, <laughs> a nice um, barrel roll there. Oh, that's allowed Pete to catch up. I was trying to do the sort of the bump onto the motorway bit there, which is um, it's a different, it's an alternative way to go. But it's quite useful for that for that because it gets you in and moving in a different direction. Um, but yeah, they're still still behind me. Okay. If Pete's going that side of me, I'm not going to turn that way. I'll carry on this way instead. But that means that there's a purple dubiosity behind me. Okay, well, go this way, I suppose. <laughs> a lot of getting away is the prey, and I say getting away, which is, isn't quite accurate given there's still two cars right behind me. I feel like a lot of the trying to get away for the prey is just letting the hunters bash you around, seeing where the hunters are going, and then doing things like that to to throw them off the scent a little bit. Now, going back the way I just came, probably not the best of ideas, because I know that somewhere down here there must be the other hunters. Uh, so let's loop back around. Oh, this way. I need to get better at doing handbrake turns. I don't know whether this car really... Oh, let's, let's go through the hospital. I said let's go through the hospital. I didn't... Ah, oh, that was badly, badly done. I'm driving around in circles in a very small area at the moment, which is not the way to, to escape. I think I see some orange behind me, but it's not following. So, if I can get around here... Quick glance behind. It's nice and quick to get out of a car when you've uh, when it doesn't have any doors left on it. <laughs> right, I've got myself an oracle. That is predictable for me. I use oracles an awful lot, um, but at least it's it's a different car. It's less smashed up. It's going to hopefully 
be a bit more subtle okay here's a red light let's use that to have a look at the map and work out where I'm going to next oh all the way down to airport crikey that makes me want a supercar just to get down there quickly there's Mike going past over there oh, I don't want to I don't want to do that I also don't want to be here I don't seem to have done too much damage to the front now as has often been said by people playing this sort of game, that damage doesn't sink very well between um, game sessions. It's, at least it certainly doesn't in um, in GTA Online, and I believe 5M is probably going to be fairly similar. We've certainly seen plenty of occasions where damage hasn't synced properly between the computers. So, they, so that means that the damage you see on on my car on my screen could be different to the damage you see on my car or on somebody else's screen. So the fact that I can't see any damage on the front of my car doesn't mean that there isn't any, that nobody else will see any. They might turn up and see a sort of a, a smashed out headlight or something like that. So it's something you have to be at least a little bit careful of. The other thing that's a bit of a worry, especially as we're only one checkpoint into the game, is that the um, oh, where is where was the where's the next checkpoint? Okay, yeah, it was right down there. I thought it was. Okay, um, let's go this way then. Uh, the, yeah, the other thing that's a bit of a concern at the moment is the hunters have a habit of learn of reckon looking at my character model and seeing what I look like, and then using that as sort of to help them track me down if they find me later. So they've we've had a protracted chase, quite a lot of which was with the cars in quite close proximity, my car rolling over, that sort of thing. Why did I get rammed then? I don't really know. Um, I'm not sure what gave me away. I was, I was just innocently driving down the road. That's, I guess it must have just been I was in the circle. There weren't very many cars in the circle because it was... Um, ooh. Um, ow. Turn the car back over. Thank you. Boop. <laughs> Can I get back over this... I can get over this. There we go. Right. Um, what was I saying? Yes. Um, they've seen my character model now, which is is a bad thing because no, there aren't any cars in this car park. That's a pain. Um, is a bad thing because if they recognise me, if they see my player, if they look through the windscreen and see, what do I look like? A, a random white dude, actually. So that's not too, that's not too bad as as character models go. Um, um, but yeah, they have a habit of checking out character models and going, "Aha! I recognise that one. That's him. Get him." I need a, I need a new car. I don't even know what that is. That's a sports. Go. That's Tristan. What's he doing there? That oh, was weird. Um, that's very strange. I don't know what he was playing out there. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's have a car swap. I'm going to use this Jeep thing. It's not my first choice of type of car, but it'll have to do. I seem to be using these quite a lot today, actually, which is not good. I don't like to be predictable um, because predictable is a good way to end up dead. Um. Have, uh, how do I get to the airport from here? <laughs> oh. Right, I could go down the... So there's a... Um, just along here, there's a jump. I could go down this. But if there's any hunters watching, I'll be really obvious. I don't think there are. I'm going to risk it. It's just a jeep thing, right? That's, that's how, 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 the, uh, how the saying goes. <laughs> <laughs> and now I can try have another attempt at approaching the checkpoint. Okay, so there it is, just ahead of me. Oh, this is tense. I know they're bound to be around somewhere, and this is this is one of the hardest checkpoints in the in the um, in the game to take because it's just so isolated. It's in a weird part of the map. There isn't a good way to get to it legally without breaking traffic laws like I am right now. Oh, there's 
two of the hunters immediately. Crikey. Oh. Um, um, out, they're shooting. Don't shoot at me. No, 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 no. Right, how's, where's the way out from here? Is this a destructible fence? It is, thank goodness for that. I can take the, uh, right, I can take the airport loop. I'm taking it the wrong way, sure, but who cares. Um, now, I could consider ducking into the, into the car park here, but I think because we're playing in elastic band mode, that's not going to be a good plan. Um, because um, they'd see that the elastic, they'd see that the circle would stop moving, and that's going to, so it's going to be a bit of a giveaway as to where I am. Oh come on, get some grip! There we go. You're supposed to be a four. You're supposed to be a four x four. I mean, we know that four x fours are terrible vehicles generally, but oh no, that was a tire. I'm in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> that was uh, impressive. Oh, go, get moving. That was, I mean, I suppose that was a get moving technically. Right, okay, need to swim, need to swim, need to swim, need to dive, dive. How do you, how do you dive in this game? Like that, okay, there we go. <laughs> Tristan's followed me into the water and he's attempted to beat me up. Great. <laughs> oh no. I don't know how to swim. Oh, there we go. Like that. Okay. Right. This is one of the sillier things that's happened in this game. Um, I still don't know how to swim. I'm running out of air. Surface. There we go. <laughs> this is awful. This is ridiculous. I can't. I can't even. Oh. Ah. I need to learn how to swim properly. <sighs> oh. Uh, I see a fast-moving supercar or a sports car. It's an Infernus. That's a player. Paul, Where? have you got an Infernus? No, okay. I, uh, Infernus. No, I, I wasn't allowed to swap. I would have an Infernus if I wasn't allowed. No, you're not allowed to swap. Uh, I'm not going to keep up with him. Uh, he's north of uh, Eclipse Towers. Heading uh, which way? Uh, north further. Uh, heading north into the hills. There's no way I'm going to catch up. Oh, he's doing nothing, is he? I'm, I'm repairing. Yeah. Watch, watch my car. If you stay absolutely still. And oh, I there it goes. How do you repair your car like that? Stay still in the circle for 10 seconds. That's not still. Okay, he's nearly here. That's also not still because Pete rammed you. <laughs> the music is really irritating. Any radio on? Oh yeah, that's how that works. Oh, off. Ooh, that's this a J-turn. Yeah. yeah. Minor head on. Oh, I still have to repair. Uh, that He's right in front of you. Or before going towards you, Paul. Uh, you, you, the checkpoint's gone, so your car won't repair. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Chase this one. Yep, yep. You're in a wind, though. It's tough. Oh, he's sliding a bit there. Oh. He is upside down. Oh, miss. I hit at his car somewhere, though. 
Uh, he's head, he went north there, going round uh, the university, I think this is. No, it's yeah, top maybe. side. Okay. Is he still going? Yep, yep. still going round that way. Uh, he's going right. It's there yeah, you right go. there. Yeah, behind you. Uh, going round the golf right, course. Anti-clockwise round the golf course. He tried to hit the uh, end door breaking move for me and failed. Got him into a tree. Bounced off my roof. Or lack of roof. Yep, I just pinged him over the top of you. Mike! Get down, Mr. President! And you block hit. Are he's allowed to pull me over? Yes. Yeah. Wait, how'd you find the DPA? Click. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Oh, that was a beautiful headshot as well. <laughs> Sorry, not bad. Right, we're on the bottom of um, golf course. Heading east. He's taking a left, heading north. Roof down. Uh, past low car parks. Uh, heading east again. Uh, it's a right, heading south. Through the um, swanky shops. He has crashed onto a tree um, and a J turn. Turned around again. Ah! Don't crash into me when I'm following, please. Uh, right, we're heading east again through the swanky shops. Uh, past customs. Took in a right just before Ellis Customs. Heading towards shopping centre. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Outside the shopping centre. Down to, yeah, towards Arcadius. He's oh, bottled to the onto the highway, yeah. Heading which way? Uh, east. east, and east On the okay. correct side of the road. We're just kind of cruising past. Nice spin. Oh, he's gone off by Pillbox Hill. He's heading down towards Square of Squares. Okay. Uh, taking a right before then under the tunnel by Pillbox Hill. We're going through the tunnel, so heading in west. Uh, he's crashed again. He's not Hail. on the highway. Not he's the at highway. Arcadius. Uh, taking a left by Arcadius towards higher lower. Hail. And then a right west again north. Lower. No, west, sorry, yes, you're right. Now he's going north. North. Towards shopping, shopping centre. Center. West side of shopping centre. No, east side of shopping centre. Pete cut him off. Again, how is his car still driving? It's a shell. <laughs> it just looks like you're playing ping pong. Really. Where'd he go? I didn't actually see. Uh, lower road. Okay. Yep. Uh, straight across, past Ellis Customs. I was actively trying not to get in your way. Oh, he ended up breaking move me. He's welcome to my world. Crashed in uh, front of courthouse. He's turned hard 180 back towards shopping centre. I'm stuck on a head. right, heading south. I, I, I'm stuck. I literally can't move. Uh, I don't see him. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Yeah, I got... No uh, okay, hang on. He is. I'm wondering if he was. He's up in higher. He's headed back. Up. Look, this is a rubber band, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yep, he's going down Los Santos Customs towards airport. I've just seen someone moving at speed in that direction. I'm guessing that was you, Tristan. Just taking oh, that road now. Yep. Uh, there's a helicopter there. What? Just taking off. All oh, right. Eat. Nope. <laughs> I may have rear-ended uh, conveniently the correct car. Uh, passing LS Customs now. Black okay. uh, sedan. I think it's probably a coupe. It's whatever coupe it is that looks like a sedan. I expect. 
Or lose that one. Whereabouts are you? Uh, the hedges uh, by the checkpoint. Right. Where am I? Why do I not have weapons? Uh, that may not be my fault. Yeah, I'm... He might be heading into the airport now. I'm getting shot a lot. Give me a second. Yeah, I too no, am having gang related problems. Not naming any names, but somebody started a gang attack. <laughs> Found him. Taking the checkpoint now. This uh, grey one. Ball. Yep. Where is he? Checkpoint. Heading in any particular direction? Uh, heading actually south this time. Yep. Uh, into, into the, the airport. airport complex. I think he just went oh, across. Sorry, Mike. The, uh, oh, that's right. Around the loop. Okay, I'll try and go to the other side of the loop to cut him off. I am with Mike. Uh, that might have been him who turned round. No, he's, oh, he's there. Just heading out now. Uh, uh, I yeah, he's on him. Out that one. Yep, no worries. I had a bit of a lag issue. Oh. Uh, Paul, left head. Off road. Hello, Pete. Hello. I couldn't see for a second because all I could see was the bottom of your car. Just look at my whole screen. <laughs> might have got a tyre. I think you might have done. I think you might Excellent. have done. Excellent. There's a very. Yep, you have back left tyres out. Heading awesome. around past LS Customs, heading up towards Heliport. Uh, oh my my. God. Sorry, he's crashed, he's crashed, he's crashed. Going onto the beach, he is involuntarily into the yep. water. <laughs> he must die now, surely. <laughs> Not necessarily. Uh, why can't I get out of the car? Oh, he no, dives, no. damn you. He's, he's I dived. just had a oh, bead. No. Yeah. Just had a bead on him. Yeah. Where has he gone? He's still under the water. Yeah. We're brawling. Anyone know? Yeah, he's uh, towards the middle, that's me. I've just come out. You just stuck your head up pretty near him. Beyond me, yes. Well, I think I see someone else in the water. He's, he's going to start drowning if he doesn't go up soon. I was going to say, I've got a sniper up already, come on. Near the, um, there. Uh, I'm about to pop up. To my left. There yeah. you go. Don't see him. Uh, eyes on. Oh, he, oh, he died. He's dove. He dove. I don't think we can actually attack him like this. <laughs> oh, oh, we can. Got it. Oh, uh, nice. How did you do that? I was punching him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>